Hello YouTube, from Kid 1416 here. And a couple months ago I made a video about my uh, my console and handheld collection. So today I thought I'd show you guys my PC game collection. And so yep, um, it, what you're seeing right now is my boxed games. And once I'm done with that I'll show you my games on my, that I just have loose CD. So anyway, starting out on the left side with The Sims. The Sims 2 Double Deluxe, yeah, as you can see, I'm a major, major Sims fan. I have been since 2009. I'm a fan of simulation games in general, but Sims has always been my favorite. So I've got The Sims, Sims 2 Double Deluxe, which just uh, includes the base game and some of the expansion packs. That's the first version I ever of Sims I ever played, actually. It's what got me into The Sims. Got The Sims 2 University, Sims 2 Best of Business, Sims 2 Pets. Sims 3, Sims 3 Pet, or Sims 3 Starter Pack, World Adventures, Sims 3 Generations, Sims 3 Ambitions, Sims 3 Seasons, Sims 4, which I still play on a regular basis. Um, the only reason that you can see the only expansion pack I have for is Cats and Dogs. That was because I got that on sale, but all my other expansion packs for the Sims 4 are digital. And then moving on to Sims City Games, Sims City Societies, Sims City 2013. Age of Empires 3, which is a really, really great game. I hate that Ensemble Studio shut down a few years ago. We've got Civilization 4, Flight Simulator X, which I need to get the Steam version because I've heard that even though they shut down the server for Flight Simulator X, because Gamefly shut down. GameSpy, sorry. Gamefly is something else, but anyway, game. Even though GameSpy shut down, if you get the Steam version, you can play online with that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next, we got one of my favorite simulation game series, Roller Coaster Tycoon. We got Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Gold, which includes the base game and then Soaked. We got Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Platinum, which includes Soaked and then Wild. Which are the only two expansion packs ever came out for it. Next we've got Zoo Tycoon 2, another favorite of mine. Zoo Tycoon 2 Marine Maniac, Zoo Tycoon 2 Extinct Animals. I need to get the complete collection for it at some point. Because there's quite a bit more expansions for it. Uh, next we got Out of Order, Sim City uh, Cities of Tomorrow, the an expansion pack. Sorry, I got a bit of a cold, my voice is kind of nasally but anyway next we got Hotel Giant which is a hotel I guess you could call it Hotel Tycoon World of Goo which is kind of an interesting puzzle game it's also available for other platforms next we got Dark Game Studio which is includes Dark Basic the programming engine and then with a couple of extras uh, I got into programming one time, and I thought I would do that. Um, I never really got into it enough to actually make a game, but I, I kind of messed around with it, and it was kind of cool, I guess. Next, we got 007 Quantum of Solace. Let's Try, that's my sister's game. The Oregon Trail. SpongeBob Diner Dash. Create Your Own 3D Games, which is made by the same people that made Dark Basic, and it's basically a kid version of that, where it's all clicking all click and drag so that's pretty awesome you can make some game I made some I might try some games I made in that sometime Multimedia Fusion, Fusion 2 which is kinda of the same idea it's all click and drag but it's 2D it makes 2D games and again I might show off sometime what games I made with that next we got Disney Coaster which it's okay um, I bought it because I thought it would basically be Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 but with Disney Coasters and I was wrong. It's actually kind of boring in comparison, but you know, it's it's decent enough. Next we got Julie Saves the Eagles. That's also my sister's game. And then we got Spore Creature Creator, which is basically a, you could call it a free trial for the game Spore, which is made by the same guy that made The Sims. Now, I've never played the actual Spore, believe it or not. I just have that free trial version, but um, and then finally we got Call of Duty. Modern Warfare 3. I never played it much. I've never been a Call of Duty person. Okay, now let's show off the PC games that I've got on CD. Now, some of these, as you can see, are not... are just burned off my computer. Um, some of them I got from friends of mine or downloaded online freeware, so... 
Anyway, if you see that, that's why. But anyway, we got Lego Island, which is um, the headset guy's favorite game or one of his favorite games. We got Rainbow Six, which is a pretty good game. My dad used to play that back in the 90s. And then when I got old enough to play it myself, he gave it to me. So, yep. We, and then we got Microsoft Golf, Microsoft Golf 2.0. We got Golf 98, which is, I played that a lot growing up. It's one of my favorites. Golf 2001. Monster, Microsoft Monster Truck Madness. Flight Simulator 95. Flight Simulator 98. And then we have Flight Simulator 2000. Professional Edition. Another game that my dad bought. He's a, he used to be a, a, um, he used to fly small planes a lot, so he played that a lot in the early 2000s. He still likes planes, he just doesn't fly them anymore. Okay, next we got, these are all Burns Simcopter, Skyroads Christmas Special, and regular Skyroads. Great games that I've shown here before. Earthworm Jim, 3D Ultra Pinball. Next we got Toon Twister 3D, which, if you, any of you know of... The Microsoft, um, what was it called? I'll put it. I'll put it up there. It's, I think it's called something Nickelodeon 3D. But anyway, it was a game in the 90s that was made by Microsoft where you could make your own Nickelodeon cartoons and um, 3D Nickelodeon cartoons. This is basically that if you've played that. But this is just a, an updated version that's got newer characters like Fairly Odd Parents and Jimmy Neutron. This is another game I played a lot growing up. It's uh, And it's really, really cool. I might show it off on what, my next computer video or something. When I show off my main XP machine, I might show that off because it's a really interesting game. But anyway, next we got Nick Tunes Racing, which... Let me get my flashlight out to give, give it better lighting. Nick Tunes Racing uh, doesn't help much. It's a, it's a fun game. You guys have probably put, some of you probably played that before. Another game that I used to play a lot as a kid with my mom. Next we got Toy Story Animated Toy Storybook, The Incredible Machine, and again sorry about, I got a cold so sorry about that. Um, next we got some of my Humongous Entertainment games, we got Pup-Up Goes to the Moon, Pup-Up Saves the Zoo which is the first uh, Humongous Entertainment game I played as a kid, Pup-Up Drawing the Circus, Spy Fox Dry Cereal, uh, this is a collection called Fun for Kids, it was a, uh, I got this for Christmas about probably 15 years ago or so. It had a bunch of humongous games and some other stuff. Um, I, I don't have the every single disc for it anymore, but you'll see them scattered around. And there was also another one that my sister got called Fun for Girls, you'll see next to it. But anyway, like I said, I don't have all of them anymore, but you'll see them scattered around in here. Anyway, that's Drive Fo Star Fox 3 Operation Ozone. And then the girls one is Freddy Fish 4, The Curse of the Hog. Fish Wrestlers of Briny Gulch. As you can probably tell by the way I couldn't pronounce that, I've never really played that one actually. We got Freddy Fish 2, The Curse of the Haunted Schoolhouse, John Sam 3. And next we got Crayola Magic 3D, just like a, like a virtual coloring book basically. I played that a lot as a young kid. We got The Wild Thornberry's Rambler, which I didn't play much. Blues Clues, Blues Treasure Hunt. I was a Blues Clues, Blues Clues fan as a kid. So I had that. And I had a disc too, but I don't know what happened to it. We got Great Adventures, Wild Western Town. I was trying to read that through the camera. Another game I played when I was small. We got Treasure Mountain and Treasure Mass Storm. Two classic PC games there. Next we got Carmen San Diego Junior Detective, and we're in the USA's Carmen San Diego, another another famous game series. Next, we got Powerpuff Girls Mojo JoJo's Pet Project. I think I got that for as a gift for something, and I didn't play it much. Next, we got Schoolhouse Rock Grammar Rock, Mr. Potato Head's Activity Pack, Mr. Potato Head Saves Valley Veggie Valley, which is a point-and-click game, much like Humongous Games. We got Rugrats Mystery Adventures, Rugrats in Paris the game, Toy Story the game, 
Toy Story 2 Activity Center. I love that. As a kid, my mom and I used to play that all the time on the T600. The Dow Dimension XPS T600. Next we have Sesame Street. These are, these are like really small kid games. I have these kind of in, in categories. This is a small kid, the toddler variety, I guess you could say. I got Sesame Street Music Maker. Next we got Sesame Street Let's Make a Word. Elmo's Preschool. Dr. Seuss Preschool. It's another copy of Dr. Seuss Preschool. I don't know, I have two of them. Dr. Seuss Reading Games. Living Books, Arthur's Teacher's Trouble. Um, Little People Discover Airport. This was my sister's game, actually. That was after my time. We got M Math Blaster Mission 2. Riding Blaster, age 6 or 9. I Spy School Days. Caillou, Four Seasons of Fun. Jumpstart Second Grade. Field Trip Adventures and Jumpstart Second Grade. Mystery Club Volume 1. Reader Rabbit Kindergarten. Sing Along CD and then Reader Rabbit Kindergarten. Well, they're both Sing Along CDs. The first one is Reader Rabbit Presents Balloon Tunes. The second one is Bounce Down in Balloon Town. Um, Hello Kitty Cutie World of my sisters. Miss Spider's Tea Party. It was also my sister's. Reader Rabbit First Grade, which included the newer version of Kids Pick, Kid Picks. A lot of memories playing that game in school and at home. Got Cat Dog Quest for the Golden Hydrant. We got X Wing for DOS, and then X Wing Collector's Edition Disc Two Tie Fighter. I lost the first, the first disc for that, unfortunately, which was X Wing versus Tie Fighter, and that was a really good game. Um, the Oregon Trail. Which you saw the box of. I'm not sure if that's the same one that you saw the box for or if that's a, uh, another copy I had. Okay, so now we're getting into some of the games that I played as an older kid slash young slash preteen. These are the, most of these are from the XP era. We have Multicoon, Multicoon 2 Deluxe. Yeah, I was right. As I said earlier, I was a huge simulation fan. Multicoon 3, and still am. Luxury Liner Tycoon. SeaWorld Tycoon 3D, School Tycoon, Moon Tycoon, Deep Sea Tycoon, a TV Tycoon, which uh, it's not much of anything. You just kind of set your own schedule and stuff, but uh, it's it's decent. My Sim Aquarium. You can make your own aquariums and even make them your screensaver, which is kind of cool. Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, Deluxe. Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Platinum, which you saw the box for earlier. Then I got my Zoo Tycoon 2 games that you saw earlier. Restaurant Empire, which is made by the same people that made Hotel Empire. Or sorry, Hotel Giant. Hotel Giant 2. We got Prison Tycoon. You can yeah, you can see I was a may I was a bit obsessed with the Tycoon games back then. And like I said, I still am today, although I've moved on to Sims games for the most part. Prison Tycoon Alcatraz, Disney Coaster, uh, Jet Fighter 2015, which is a great fighting game. I will show that. I will try to show that off when I when I do my the review of my my main XP machine in a few weeks I will, or months. I'll try to show off that as well as some of the other XP games that I haven't shown before. Civilization 4. It's a three disc set. Next we got Age Age of Empires Gold Edition, Age of Empires 2. And then Age of Empires, The Age of Kings. This is a set I bought at Walmart about back in 2010 that included the first two Age of Empires games and their expansions, so that's kinda cool. Uh, this is kinda interesting. This is the William and Graham collection number one. Uh, my good friend William, my childhood friend. And, and I used to make games all the time. Remember, remember I showed that create your own 3D games thing? Yeah, that's that's what we used to use. That as well as we used Multimedia Fusion a little bit too. And we used to make our own homemade games. So, I might, like I said, I might show those off sometime. Wedding Dash 2 is my sister. She's a big fan of the Dash games. So, most of those you see will be hers. I like it too. Um, it's a little hard, but... I, I did play Spongebob Diner Dash some. 
Polar Games, which I have shown before in my Sony Vaio video. Sim Sim City 4 Deluxe, which I lost the product key for, unfortunately. Tetris Worlds, a good Tetris game. 1200 games, which basically just includes, yes, it includes literally 1200 games. But they're all kind of like mini games almost. Um, World of Goo, which I showed earlier. Disney Basketball, I mean, sorry, Nick, Nick Basketball. Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius and Jimmy Neutron vs. Jimmy Negatron. That's a fun game. I might show off sometime. It's a, it's a kind of a point and click game. Uh, Monsters Inc. Pinball Panic, and then here's another one that's fun for girls. This one is Disney's Lilo and Stitch Pinball. SpongeBob Nighty Nightmare. SpongeBob Employee of the Month. Um, SpongeBob had a couple, a couple of these games back in the day, where these two in particular are point and click. But they also had some good games for like the GameCube and stuff. It was that were really fun back in the day. American City World Gettysburg, it's kind of a kind of a real-time strategy game, you could say. A little bit different, but... Fashion Dash. Spongebob Diner Dash. Diner Dash Hometown Hero. Jazz Jackrabbit. And these are all burned here. Epic Pinball, SimCity, SimCity 2000. Return of Arcade Anniversary Edition. I did own this game as a kid. We owned it for a long time, but I had seen to have lost it, so that's why I re-downloaded that. Re-burned that, I should say. XF Fury 3, X-Men vs. TIE Fighter. Yeah, I found a copy of this online, but I can't get it to work, so I might have to end up buying a legitimate version of it sometime. Oh, I forgot I took out, yeah, I forgot I took out my Sims games from the boxes, so you can see these are the discs for them that I showed you earlier. I now, if I'm going to play Sims 2, I now have on Origin, which is EA's version of Steam, basically. You can actually download the Sims 2 Complete Collection for free. All you have to do is prove that you have any of the Sims games already. So, just, if anyone's interested, just contact EA, preferably through chat, and send them a picture of your Sims game. Sims 2 game, and they will send, they will give you a download code for the Sims 2 Complete Collection, so, that is pretty awesome, I, that's what I used to play that now, uh, Sims 3, and it's expansion packs, and then the Sims 4, which I still play today, quite a bit, most of the expansions, again, I have digitally, but, yep, SimCity 2013, Age of Empires 3, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to making that Dell Optiplex video, actually, because I have a lot of nostalgia with the XP era, because, that, again, that was when I was an older kid slash preteen, so I played quite a bit of XP era games, like like you're seeing now. So, yeah, I'm going to try to show some of those games off. There's Flight Simulator X. There's that Creature in 3D games I was talking about. Dark Game Studio. This is a a bit of free DL, free DLC that came out for the Dark Game Studio that I have as just as a backup. More time media fusion two. And Spore Creep, yep, that's it. As you can see I got quite a bit of expansion room here. But yeah, um yeah, just thought I'd come on camera and show you guys my PC game collection, especially because I'm kinda of busy this time of year, like with family and holidays and whatnot, so I may not get a chance to make much more in terms of videos until after the holidays, so I thought I would come on and at least do something for you guys. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you all next time. Bye. By the way, I did mention Steam. Um, if anyone wants to add me on Steam, feel free. My username is the same as my YouTube, ComputerKid1416. And same thing with Origin. I do occasionally upload a like a house or something on Sims 4, so if you want to add me on that and check out what I added, feel free, or on Steam, so, yep, anyway, see you guys next time, bye.